In the midst of a modern, brilliant China with skyscrapers and smart factories, there are giant graveyards of electric vehicles. You will be overwhelmed when witnessing the scene of hundreds of thousands, or even millions of electric cars, once symbols of the green future, now lying covered in dust like relics of a forgotten era. But don't mistake this for a trace of failure. These cars are not merely discarded products. They are also evidence of a silent war, where BYD and Tesla are competing in an unseen arena. The race is not only happening in numbers or on technological tracks, but also within the corridors of power. Donald Trump, with the slogan, Make America Great Again, has returned to the White House as the 47th President of the United States, facing off against Xi Jinping, who has vowed to transform China into a technological superpower. In this game, abandoned cars serve as a reminder that every number has a story, and not all of them are winners. Are these parking lots the legacy of a bursting electric car bubble, or a power play visible only on the surface? This is not just a story about electric cars, but also one of ambition, strategy, and global warfare. Trump and Xi, Tesla, and BYD. Who will control the future of the green industry? BYD, the Tesla threat. Under the leadership of President Xi Jinping, China has shifted from being the world's factory to becoming a global center of technological innovation. Electric vehicles are seen as a strategic card in this plan, not merely a means of transportation, but also a symbol of the country's economic strength, technology, and vision for a green future. In 2014, while reviewing some of CIC's luxury sedans, Xi Jinping emphasized that China's path to becoming an auto manufacturing powerhouse lies in the development of electric vehicles. This statement became a guiding principle for Chinese automakers, urging them to prioritize research and development in this field. In Xi's vision, BYD stands at the forefront. Under the leadership of billionaire Wang Chuanfu, an engineer passionate about innovation, BYD has grown from a small battery maker into the world's leading electric vehicle empire. BYD's success is not solely due to business acumen, but also the result of a calculated strategic plan. The Chinese government has implemented a series of supportive policies, including subsidies and tax incentives, to promote the production and consumption of electric vehicles. As a result, automakers like BYD have risen to lead the global electric vehicle market, surpassing Tesla. One key strategy is competitive pricing. BYD offers electric vehicles at affordable prices compared to Tesla. For example, BYD's SEAL model starts at around 73,800 yuan, 10,392, roughly a third of Tesla's price in China. Financial reports show that BYD surpassed Tesla in revenue in the third quarter of 2024, reaching $28.2 billion compared to Tesla's $25.2 billion. However, Tesla remains a formidable competitor, with higher profits and a significant global presence. In the third quarter of 2024, Tesla reported an operating profit of $2.8 billion compared to BYD's $1.1 billion. The rapid growth of China's electric vehicle industry has raised concerns among other countries. The United States and Europe have accused China of dumping electric vehicles on the global market, prompting investigations and trade defense measures. Before his re-election, U.S. President Donald Trump threatened to impose a 20% tariff on imported cars from the EU, reflecting the growing tension in trade relations. China, with leading electric vehicle manufacturers such as BYD, has employed a clever strategy to mitigate the impact of high European tariffs. Instead of exporting electric vehicles from China directly to EU markets, which would incur combined tariffs of up to 45.3%, Chinese manufacturers have established assembly or finishing plants in EU countries. Here, key components such as the chassis, batteries, and motors are imported from China, but the final assembly takes place in EU factories. As a result, these vehicles are classified as intra-EU goods and are subject to significantly lower import tariffs when exported to other markets, especially the United States. 
This tax evasion strategy not only helps China avoid harsh import tariffs, but also takes advantage of preferential trade policies between the EU and other regions of the world. While the U.S. imposes tariffs of up to 100% on Chinese electric vehicles, products labeled Made in EU can be exported to the U.S. with lower or even no additional tariffs. This approach reduces the financial burden on Chinese manufacturers and makes Chinese electric vehicles more competitive in the international market. However, it also raises concerns in the EU about whether these assembly plants are truly contributing to the internal economy or are simply a step in the global supply chain to launder the origins of Chinese electric vehicles. Billions of dollars have been poured into BYD from state funds and preferential subsidies. The Chinese government has not only encouraged the consumption of electric vehicles, but also created a comprehensive ecosystem, from lithium mining to the development of battery and vehicle factories. It is a centrally coordinated revolution, where every link serves the goal of making China the hegemon of this industry. But behind the glitz lie much larger ambitions. Electric vehicles are just the tip of the iceberg, from dominating the battery supply chain, BYD, under indirect government guidance, is quietly seizing control of the most important resources of the future, like lithium, nickel, and rare earths. In a world where renewable energy is king, controlling these resources is tantamount to holding the keys to power. Xi Jinping-backed BYD isn't just selling cars, it's exporting a message. China is no longer behind in electric vehicles. It wants to be ahead. But is this strategy sustainable? or is it just a flicker of subsidy and resources? With EV graveyards as evidence of hidden cracks, can BYD overcome Trump's hurdles? BYD's strategy of building factories in the U.S. is a smart move, but will it be enough to overcome the pressure from the Trump administration? BYD electric vehicles are still seen as foreign products, facing skepticism from American consumers who are familiar with Elon Musk's Tesla brand. The competition is not just political. Tesla, with its advantages in technology, brand, and long-standing presence in the U.S., is still a rival that BYD will find difficult to overcome. For Trump, this is not just an economic war, but also an opportunity to assert America's position in the face of China's rise. Any car that rolls on American soil will have to serve American interests, not those of a rival power. Meanwhile, across the Pacific, abandoned electric car lots in China are a reminder that not every car produced finds its way to consumers. Is BYD building a sustainable future? Or is this just a bubble inflated by Xi Jinping's policies? BYD's abandoned lots and dark corners paint a different picture. When you think of electric cars, you often think of a green future where battery-powered vehicles replace the old gas engines. But in China, where BYD leads the market, the opposite is true. Vast parking lots where hundreds of thousands of electric cars sit abandoned, gathering dust in the sun. A big question is, why did an industry that seemed to be booming leave such a gloomy image? The first answer comes from the collapse of a series of electric vehicle startups in China in recent years. With strong support from the government, hundreds of startups rushed into the electric vehicle race. But not all were able to survive when capital dried up and competition from giants like BYD became unbearable. Many companies were forced to close. As a result, the electric cars they produced had no customers, no future, and were left in deserted parking lots. A little-known fact, BYD's sales were strongly boosted by government subsidies and centralized procurement contracts from state-owned enterprises and local governments. The Chinese government has spent at least $230 billion since 2009 to develop the EV industry, including direct subsidies, tax breaks, and incentives for buyers. In 2024, China expanded its subsidy program for people to trade in old cars for new electric vehicles, with subsidies of up to $2,800 per transaction. Is this a way to make financial statements look good, a ploy to maintain the trust of international investors? Many state-owned enterprises and local governments have signed EV purchase contracts with BYD to promote the use of environmentally friendly vehicles and support the domestic industry. Bubble or long-term strategy? This raises a larger question. 
Is the electric vehicle industry in China, including BYD, growing substantially, or is it just a giant bubble inflated by subsidies and artificial figures? Remember, in every bubble, rapid growth always comes with hidden risks, and abandoned parking lots may be the first sign that cracks are starting to appear. In the race between BYD and Tesla, between Xi Jinping's ambition and Donald Trump's toughness, the question is not just who will win, but whether the future of this green industry is truly built on a solid foundation. Tesla. Loser or biding its time? On the surface, BYD appears to be winning the sales race, but Tesla, led by Elon Musk, is no pushover. While BYD dominates in terms of numbers, Tesla still holds the edge in terms of quality and technology, factors that BYD has yet to match. Tesla is not just an electric vehicle manufacturer, but also a technology conglomerate. Tesla's autopilot self-driving system is considered the most advanced in the world, not only taking the car from point A to point B, but also learning and improving through real-world data, something competitors like BYD are still trying to catch up with. Along with that, Tesla's supercharger fast-charging network has covered the globe, while BYD users have to rely on limited third-party infrastructure. Tesla offers customers a closed ecosystem from hardware to services. But Tesla's real strength lies not only in the present, but also in its vision for the future. Elon Musk has announced plans to produce low-cost electric cars, approaching the mass-market segment that BYD currently dominates. Add to that the robo-taxi project, fully autonomous cars without drivers, which could change the way we travel and push Tesla to the forefront of the smart transportation industry. Even though BYD's sales have surpassed Tesla's, Tesla's profits are still far ahead of its rival. This proves an important truth. Tesla doesn't need to sell more to make more. With a business model focused on high value and cost optimization, Tesla is playing a different game, the game of financial sustainability. This battle is not just about two companies, but also about how we shape the future of the electric vehicle industry. The electric vehicle war has gone beyond corporate borders. It is a confrontation between two superpowers, China under Xi Jinping, eager to assert its global leadership, and the United States under Donald Trump, who has no qualms about erecting economic barriers to protect its domestic industry. But behind every electric vehicle rolling off the road is a game of power, where economic, political, and technological strategies intertwine creating conflicts that are no less fierce than gunfire. China's abandoned parking lots are the dark side of growth. They raise the big question, is the success of BYD and the Chinese electric vehicle industry real, or is it just an economic bubble inflated by state subsidies and unsustainable financing strategies? In contrast, Tesla does not mass produce to chase sales, but focuses on quality and breakthrough technology. This makes people wonder, in the long-term battle, who is the real winner? What do you think about this electric car war? Leave your opinion in the comments section. We want to hear your views and don't forget to like to support us and subscribe so you don't miss interesting stories. Hello and see you again.